Girls who read books instead of being on their phones are way more attractive. <laughs> Did you tweet this with a book? <laughs> that is so funny. I can't believe this person was that witty and sarcastic and sassy. You guys know I am living for this. Quite literally though. Like, okay, so what does that make you? Because you tweeted this from your phone, so. I'm anti-feminist for many of the same reasons I'm an atheist. Hmm? Huh? So you don't believe women exist? It's okay, I'm an atheist because I don't believe in something I can't see or touch. I suppose women are much like that for you. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Coming in freaking hot. Someone just got burned. What a weird thing to say though. I'm anti-feminist for many of the same, I'm an, like I'm an atheist, like bro. I'm sorry, but what girl or woman is going out and being like, mm, that's who I wanna date. Not one soul. Stop it. 35 annoying things that girls do. Boy makes 35 complaints about women, then says women complain too much. Isn't that ironic? Let me make a video that quite literally is a hypocrite to what I'm saying about women. Makes a lot of sense. What a waste of time also. Can you imagine sitting in your bedroom making a YouTube video, like complaining about things you don't like about women? Like who is going to ask this man out? Who is going to be like, that is my boyfriend. That's probably why he's so mad. Logan, we're just not holding back, are we? Straight to the point. Threesome? With who? Your preferred female friend. Sounds good. <laughs> Who's the third person? Me. Oh, then no. <laughs> that is such a smooth way to turn down that offer. If you know what I'm saying, I don't wanna say it again because I don't even know if I could say it the first time in all honesty, but smooth. Great, sounds good. Let me bring my friend, but now we need a third. What about me? No, I love that. See, I'm not, I'm not witty enough. I'm really not witty enough for that. I wish I was, I wish I was. I might like hold on to some of this material up here in case I ever get presented with a time, but men amaze me every day. Oh boy, mind just know where this is going. I'll take that as no. How does that even happen? Um, I got my period overnight. You're really expecting me to know how periods work? That's kind of crazy. You're 24 and you don't know that? I mean, I didn't know it was possible to get it overnight, that's it. What? How would it only happen during the day? You think our uterus waits for us to wake up? <laughs> Called me dumb? Cause the body shuts down during sleep. Oh Jesus, oh my God, oh man. All right, yeah. You know, I just feel bad for whoever had to like call this man's their like boyfriend or husband one day. <laughs> It'd be, I don't know. I'm trying to sympathize in the fact like maybe he just somehow genuinely didn't know. But at the same time, like you really think our body just like, that's it, meh at night like what do you what do you think happens when a, a woman is pregnant and our body just shuts down at night what happens to the baby it just shuts down our body shuts down babies wouldn't be a thing if our bodies did that gary tagged katie and said maybe you should learn some actual science then and stop listening to criminals pushing the global warming scam katie wrote i don't know man i already went and got a phd in anthrophysics. Seems like more than that would be overkill at this point. Damn, Katie! First of all, Katie, Katie's got a freaking verified check, all right? So, sounds to me like she's pretty scientific, okay? I could hardly say astrophysics, so good for her. Ladies, you can't be drafted. Sit down when war is discussed. Kim, a lot of men have told me to sit down and shut up. Now those men call me, oh, stop it right now. Stop it. I did not know that this was going where it just went. What a power move. As in, she is in charge of the men. It's just so like ridiculous. Anyways, y'all, no, no, not today, Satan. I am not going on a rant about this. I will tell you that. My patience is being tested hard by Stefan right now. <laughs> Doing my makeup on the train this morning and a random man told me he likes women to have a more natural look. 
I told them I like men to have a more silent look. <laughs> it's just like, I didn't ask. Number one, like I didn't ask what you like, okay? And two, didn't ask, okay? And two, it's also, why do you care? L I'll, let me just <laughs> rein it in. Let me rein in these emotions. It shouldn't matter to you what she does with her face, but also she didn't ask. Y'all, I swear, the universe is testing me right now. Billy! I love her. I'm gonna be pissed if someone comes at Billy right now, okay? In 10 months, Billy Eilish has developed a mid 30s wine mom body. Someone wrote Body shaming an 18 year old girl must make you feel so confident and manly. Y'all, that's what I was gonna say, except like a lot worse. <sighs> this hurts. You know, I'm pretty sure Billy spoke out about this photo and this comment after because people reamed in on her with this photo. And when I saw it, all I thought was, Billy, I freaking love her, okay? <laughs> She's got a great body. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but I would be Billy any day in this lifetime. NYC Medic helped make ends meet with racy OnlyFans side gig. Okay. Leave her alone. The actual scandalous headline here is medics in the United States need two jobs to survive. <gasps> oh, I didn't even realize that. Like I, I didn't think of that and like what a different perspective. First of all, why do people judge? Why do you care what women do with their bodies? It's their body it makes no sense and the fact that new york post they might have shared this and the article was actually very positive but like how they're wording it is obviously it's for clickbait and i get it i work in media we get it it's for people to click it's just funny that that makes a headline like a medic is doing only fans it's like cool there's probably a lot of people in this world doing only fans just simply to get by because of the money they could be nurses they could be doctors wife of a bears lineman wins a bronze medal today in rio olympics good for her you spelled three-time olympian corey kajdel oh stop win second bronze medal today in rio olympics wrong i was I'm not gonna lie, I was wondering the same thing. Like, I get the team is like, oh, wife of bears lineman, but like, you don't think that's kind of like overshadowing the fact that the wife just won an Olympic medal? Like, no offense, but like, we don't care that her husband is a lineman. Like, cool, but are we not here to celebrate her Olympic medal? Anna Kendrick, ooh! I love her. If I find a movie where my character wears sweatpants all the time, I swear I'll do it for free. <laughs> These are facts. Wouldn't you get a bit sweaty down there? Ew, like what? That is what you think of when a girl says she wants to stay in sweatpants all the time? That's what you think of? You're weird, man. Anna says, <laughs> um, that's not how, I mean, they don't work like, uh, have you ever met a girl? <laughs> I'm in sweatpants right now. Like, I don't know what you're picturing, but that's not what happens if <laughs> you wear sweatpants all the time. Freaking weird, man. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, these men got rightfully turned down, but you know that I always keep it equal, okay? So we are also doing a video of men who turn down entitled women. So that is coming. Don't come at me. You gotta keep it equal, okay? It happens, it happens. I'm out of here you guys, stay sassy out there and stay classy, bye. When your prom date's a flaky F boy, but you slay everyone anyway. I like on the one picture, she has like her arm out to like mimic the prom photo that everyone takes with their date. You know what? Honestly, I had a boyfriend in high school at prom, but if I didn't, like grab a girlfriend Tell her she's your date and you guys go out and live your best life. Because you know what? That prom date, probably not going to mean much to you in 10 years from now. Let's be honest. I planned coffee with a guy and showed up at the coffee shop and bought two coffees. About half an hour, the barista realized that I had gotten stood up. So she gave me back my $3 and offered me a muffin. <sighs> I just love girls sometimes. It's like, I got you, girl. 
mm -mm. Ain't nobody stand you up, boo. I got you. I would honestly, like, if I wasn't working, I would just be like, yo, I'll have that coffee. Let's chat. What's your name? Let's get to know each other. Let's hang out. I got stood up and decided to go to a local electronics store and buy something to cheer myself up. Turned out they were having a free raffle that day. <gasps> I won a free PlayStation 3. Yo, if that is not the universe having your back, I don't know what is. Got stood up. Day probably started out really crappy. You're feeling down free raffle and a free PlayStation 3, it was meant to happen. See, sometimes things happen so that other things happen and they need to happen. If Bay makes you travel to a different city just to stand you up, then you have every right to make him watch you have the time of your life without him. Amen. Don't, I don't even need the rest. Amen. When Scottish mental health blogger Mimi Black was ditched in Glasgow, Glasgow, she turned to Snapchat to do just that, documenting her lingerie shopping, cocktails, and ice cream sundaes. People will F you over, she concludes in the final snap. It's up to you what you do about it. Preach, girl. Go off. absolutely. freaking lootly If you ever get stood up, it's like... Don't even feel bad. Joke's on them. Because you know what? You are a catch. It's their loss. Go on, live your best life. Do what you wanna do, succeed. Who is, oh, do you just have cut out some celebrities? Where do you even get those? Can I have one of Miley Cyrus? Cause I would legit have that in my home as like decor. When senior Megan Schaller's prom date got a girlfriend before the big day, she had to make some last minute compromises. Rather than kick it solo, she decided to hilariously highlight her situation by crafting dates, plural, of her own. While Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Harry Styles couldn't actually make it to her prom, the cardboard cutout versions of the celebrities were totally available and were more photogenic than any human date could be. <laughs> if I didn't have a date, I would straight up do that with a cutout of Miley Cyrus. No joke, be like, yo, me and my girl Miley, like all my pictures. You know, if I got left at the altar on my wedding, I'ma have a Miley Cyrus cutout in the closet as a backup plan. Oh girl, wine. That just, that's all I need to know. I know where this story went because she has a glass of wine. If prom is the number one worst time to stand someone up, New Year's Eve is probably in the top five. Below Valentine's Day and weddings. Okay, yes. Wedding, the altar is probably number one. That didn't stop this Imgur user? I don't even know what that is. Imgur? Is, what is that? Is that an app? Am I too old? Anyways, it didn't stop this user from welcoming 2016 in an equally enjoyable wear way, wearing pajamas and drinking wine like the incredible cozy boss that she is. Absolutely, y'all. New Year's is overrated. New Year's is a lot of fun, let's be honest, but at the same time, it's like some people feel like absolute garbage on New Year's when they don't have like their kiss at midnight and meh and Valentine's Day and it's like, <sighs> cares they're literally just other days of the year like i'm not even trying to be rude but people who are like i don't have a date on valentine's day it's like you didn't have a date yesterday and you're not gonna have one tomorrow you're single every month what why does valentine's day make you feel like garbage but that's what i'm saying maybe we shouldn't have that i just don't know why these days highlight negative feelings for people that's why i don't like them I stood up when i was 16 you were dating at 16 dang i so was i what am i saying so was i Stood up at 16, walked around the farmer's market, demoralized, and offered to sell CDs for a street performer who was going back and forth between playing and peddling. I got to sling slash play for the audience during his intermission too. Went out to dinner and had a great time. No time, no adult fun but still had fun. Saw him on MTV several years later and developed and devolved into a squealing tween. Oh my God, I met that guy. Are you going to tell us who it was though? Cause like I'm the, that is all I want to know in all honesty. Who is the MTV heartthrob? Because there is a chance that we know them. Tell us. That is the best story at 16. Man, I haven't even had that experience. I'm 29 now. When I got stood up twice, Oh, by the same guy in one month last year. Not only did I realize he doesn't deserve me, but my mom took me out for pizza and ice cream both times. Oh, mom. Mom always comes in clutch, you know? Mom is always there when boys break your heart. But, but kind of shame on you for like allowing it to happen twice. No, you know like fool me once, shame on 
you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And this person stood you up twice. Mm, girl, after the first time. But I get people are like, I wanna give someone the benefit of the doubt. People deserve second chances. And it's like, okay, well, if they screw you over, you can't be surprised or mad. When I was 16, I was stood up by a guy I went to school with. Well, he was also a volunteer at this after school program my eight year old stepbrother attended. At this point, I'd only known my little stepbro for a year or so, even though, even so, the next time he went to that program, little bro told the guy, you aren't my favorite anymore. You were a jerk to my sister. Huge, because before our parents married, he'd, only, he'd been an only child and was having trouble accepting my brother, sister, and I as his siblings. That is so cute. I love that. Nothing like a little bro, like standing up for his big sis, you know? My brother would do that. I have a little brother. He would totally be like, oh, you don't mess with my sister. And he's the only boy. So he has, he's the youngest, he's the only boy. So he has a bunch of older sisters to protect. Although I can hold my own, if you know what I'm saying. Was supposed to meet a guy at Starbucks. I usually get anywhere at least five minutes early. So if we were meeting at 1.30, I was there at 1.25-ish. Good for you. Sat down and waited a bit. 140 rolls around and I decided to get a drink while I wait. Cute guy, cute guy was behind the counter. We started talking about my drink, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he's cute, cute smile, it's nice. I sit back down and let him get back to work. 150 rolls around, no word. I had a little to do that day, so I sat around. Got another drink. Bar guy is asking me what I'm up to, explain I'm expecting a date, but it doesn't look like he's showing up. He smiles a pity smile. I sit down and continue reading my book on my phone. 2.15. I look up and the bar guy comes up to me in regular clothing, asking if I'd like to get a drink, mostly jokingly, and smiles. If that is not right place, right time, it happened how it was supposed to happen, then I don't know what is, y'all. That is just the universe working its magic. You were meant to be there, you were meant to be stood up, and you were meant to meet this person. Well, these are some women who got stood up but handled it like a boss. Can't say I would react that way. I've only been stood up once and ghosted and it sucked. Jokes on you and uh, sucks because I'm a real catch. That's all I got. If you guys have been stood up though, I do want to hear about it and tell me how you handled it, you know, how it went. Guys too, this is not just for women, boys too, tell me. Did you get stood up by a girl and then you bossed up and lived your best life? Let me know. I'm out of here, you guys. Stay classy and stay sassy. Bye. This is, I forget the wording, but women that rightfully turned down entitled men. I think that's the whole thing in all honesty. So I may have done better than I thought. Please chair, don't break like that other video. No, this is a proper chair. I kind of look naked. The shirt's kind of skin color. I'm not. Anyways, I'm gonna itch in my nosy. All right, this is women who handled getting, <laughs> this title, women who handled getting stood up like a boss. That's a mouthful. It's very shadowy, so y'all are probably gonna have to do some tweaking, cause we ain't got much sunlight today in this friggin' snowstorm. Okay, two, I miss you. I had to take a stupid at-home test just because I crossed the border for like three hours yesterday. So, you know, Canada, they're like, you need to take an... And my nose is so like itchy and my eyes were watering. It's just not fun. It was negative, by the way, but it's all itchy. So I keep going like, because it's like so irritated. They're not fun. COVID tests suck. Anyways. Oh, my elbow. Y'all, I'm breaking everything. I cannot wait for you guys to see. If you haven't seen the video where I broke the chair I was sitting on while I was filming and I fell to the ground, y'all are missing out. <laughs> I live for those moments. I want those moments kept in my video. Can you hear that? I might have to film my other videos later in case that's very loud. Hopefully with our music it won't be and I will speak very loud. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.